God's response to Gideon, he doesn't answer the question. He doesn't say where he's been, doesn't say why anything has happened. God's response to Gideon, it isn't a response to the questions that Gideon raised, yet it is a response. God doesn't answer why it's happened. God doesn't explain God's self, rarely. God doesn't argue, doesn't defend. God's not even particularly tender. He just sort of tells him. God simply tells Gideon, to go and face the Midians. He says, just tells him, he says, go and secure your liberation. And it, what's curious to me and what's interesting, he says, go in the strength that you have and know that I am sending you. You have something. You got something. Go with what you have. Hear echoes of previous sermons that we've heard of Lisa sharing with us about uh, the, the young boy that brought his fish and his loaves and said, hey, I'm going to take this because you are enough, because you are enough, because I'm enough in you. He says, go on the strength that you have and remember, I am the one sending you, meaning that I am the one that's going to undergird you. I'm going before you and behind you and under you and over you and I'll be your propulsion. I am sending you. Because the thing is, church, Sometimes our healing is not found in the answers to our questions why, but rather in our taking of those first steps forward without knowing why. 